Welcome back to Content Complete Podcast featuring myself, Spencer, my friend, Matt, with the Gaming TV, and winner of season six of the TV show uh, The Baker's Dozen, and with his new hit TV show coming out on the cooking channel, Cake Daddy, Fist Cake. How's it going? Okay, so that's a common misconception. Cake Daddy is not about baking. Mm. It's uh, it's like an MTV late night show where oh. I, I won't get into it, but it's not nothing to do with baking at well, all. Well, it, it is mostly prostitutes. Channel, mm -hmm. Well, it's oh, not well, I mean, it's not about cooking, but it could be about baking. <laughs> like <laughs> weed, <laughs> like smoke, like you get baked. <laughs> Marijuana. So I played Yakuza April 20th. Zero this week, and um, <laughs> boy, let me tell you about that. <laughs> Actually, Fiske, what did you play? Well, I did play Yakuza Zero this week, and boy, let me tell you about that. I uh, <laughs> finally beat it this morning. Nice. Um, very, very intense stuff. Like, ch like that. Seventeen chapters. Chapters one through fourteen. I mean, you know, your typical fights and whatnot. You getting tussles and whatnot. Chapters fifteen through seventeen. If there's a moment that your character will take his shirt off, he's going to do it. <laughs> Every time he wants to fight somebody, he's like, yeah, I, I understand they have knives and stuff. And like I could use like some kind of protection. But no, what I'm going to do is rip my shirt off and you're going to be intimidated by my giant back tattoo. Right. Oh, you're not. Oh, God. Oh, you're stabbing me. Why did I even get this tattoo if people aren't going to be intimidated by it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but no, it was actually a really cool ending. Um, I like how what it does, because like. Yakuza Zero is like the prequel to Yakuza, like the entire Yakuza games and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, the way they kind of end the the credits and whatnot, they kind of just like tell you like what happens between Yakuza Zero and Yakuza One, and they're just like, oh, this happens until 1995, where a dark night happened. I'm like, oh, so that's where the first game starts, so 1995. Now, <laughs> now, now it's Batman time, but um. So Pretty kind of good, those little, like like events and stuff like that, kind of tying everything together. Like, hey, this is in the world. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna play Yakuza One now. I'm probably just gonna go through the whole Yakuza series, 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 in my free time, just to kind of remember what all is going on. I know that. Um, I know, like the whole empty lot thing in the Yakuza Zero. Like that's kind of like a huge plot point in Yakuza Zero. Is that everybody's trying to get this lot of land? Mm -hmm. And um, I knew that it was supposed to be like the giant tower that shows up in Yakuza 1 and whatnot. But oh, other than that, I was, I was pretty like confused and rusty because, you know, I haven't oh. played Yakuza 1 since 2005 when it first came out. So Jesus. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> so, they're going to they're remaking all of them. So you got yeah. Yakuza Kiwami 2. The yeah. Kiwami Ning. The, the second Kiwami Ning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited to play through all those and see what happens, but I also found out that you can unlock, like, like each character has, like, three different fight styles, mm -hmm. but if you beat their side hustle missions all the way through, mm -hmm. you unlock their their true fighting style, mm -hmm. which I yes. didn't know that because I just wanted to finish the fucking game, and I didn't mm -hmm. want to do real estate or pimp out my girls for mm -hmm. another three hours or so. Yeah, you know. So... Just for people who don't know and have been uh, or plan on playing the game, you don't have to get all the stuff. You don't have to unlock everything. You can do pretty well if you've got like spend about 300 million yen in about each fighting category. Yeah. So. And, you know, it, knowing just from Kiwami, it, it's, it, it feels like it's one of those situations where it is, it, especially in Kiwami, it makes you think that you need to be working towards getting like the dragon mode or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but you, you don't actually have to. I mean, it's still a game. You can still play well enough with everything else, and like, you know, not have to unlock nearly as much. Yeah, I mean, I might go back and pull. Well, no, I don't. I, I don't have enough time to go back to play video <laughs> games again. <laughs> who who am I kidding? <laughs> but I, yeah. I might try to. I might try to unlock it for Kiwami, but um, that's the next thing. Oh, okay. So I did that. I played Dakus Zero, beat it. And when I'm like not really doing a whole lot when I should be doing stuff, I play Heat Signature and listen to podcasts. Nice. And that's fun. That's a good little game, Heat Signature. Have you uh, have you guys played it yet? Uh, no. I saw Nornline's uh, Let's Look At of it. But mm -hmm. other than that, no, I haven't seen anything I actually else. don't know much about the game. It's kind of like 
it has a fighting it has a playing style of like Hotline Miami. Basically, what you do is you go go into sh- like spaceships. You have like a little pod. You mm-hmm. dock it in a spaceship, and you you complete your mission on the spaceship, whether to like assassinate everybody and steal the ship, or kill a certain person, or just kidnap somebody, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's like what you have to do. But the way it plays out is like top down, high pace action. You can like place traps and whatnot and all that fun stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that mm-hmm. reminds me of that pirate uh, ship game. The one where it's basically it's like that, but instead it's a side-scrolling type s- scenario. Talk about uh, s- hook. Yeah, something flint hook. hook? Yeah, flint hook. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> nothing like that. Well, no, no, I'm I, I'm I'm talking about like you know the whole you know you go to different spaceships and you know fight on a spaceship. That's what I was talking about. That kind of like uh, you know main. This is how you get to your game mode portion of it. Yeah, but, but they're like nothing alike. Okay, well they're nothing alike. It's just reminding me of a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Well, but well, I, I mean, I haven't played Flint Hook, but I might have to check it out if it's. It's not good. Oh, <laughs> maybe I won't check it out. All right. <laughs> I think my favorite mission so far, like once, like, like the main story is like you're supposed to liberate all these uh, outposts and whatnot, and each time you liberate one, you unlock a new item, and you unlock a defector mission, which you just play a like a special mission or whatever. Nice. My favorite one of those so far is that. You are like you start off literally just floating around in space, and you have to shoot your shotgun to like catch up with a ship, land inside the ship, and kill everybody in it. Wow! So yeah, that was that was pretty intense. Like the first time I play, I'm like, I don't I don't understand where's my pod? Where where did I did I did I somehow fuck it up by just clicking accept the mission? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. But then I like I, after playing like five times, I'm like, oh, use the shotgun. That makes sense. And you don't die what? out in space. Well, you have like a certain amount of time before you uh, pass out and then you bleed to death or whatever. Yeah. In space. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that's a really fun game. Really enjoying that. And then uh, we played Don't Starve Together this yes, Friday. We did. Yeah, yeah, that was I, fun. Speaking of games, I don't know what's going on really and I'm just kind of there to hang out. <laughs> we play with these skins. <laughs> Where uh, I was playing, it's not as even a, skins; oh, yeah. they're full characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're basically full characters. Mm. And uh, uh, I was playing as a Xenomorph. Matt was playing mm. as the Pokemon trainer, and then he switched to the Chocobo. And then Fisk yeah. over oh, here yeah. decides to come in as the Doge. <laughs> All in on Doge. <laughs> yeah, and it literally just the head of the dog bouncing around. Mm. It's got to be the funniest yeah, thing. And like once you equip items on it, it's hilarious because then like if you get a shirt, like it just has like a tiny torso with like this humongous dog head, which is about five times the size of the torso. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the hat. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The hat. I love the hat. It was great. I almost introduced you today as as the Doge Farmer because it looked like, the a Doge fucking, far- <laughs> like a fucking farmer in the game. It was great. Should have. Oh, well. um, but yeah. So that's that's pretty fun. Uh, can't wait to play some more of that with you and Coulter and everybody else at Rogue. Bro- rogue, rogue, rogue Rage, rage. yeah, Rogue Rage, Rogue Rage Gaming, yeah. Um, RRG. Immediately after we did got done streaming that, I played some Evil Within two. You Don't did. remember much. What I was gonna say, you, you went all in on that stream. Like, you, you, like, how long did you actually stream that for? Uh, I I streamed all the way till midnight when I played with you guys. So I did like I think I started at nine with you guys. I play like an hour of Evil Within. Oh, oh yeah, this is right because of the time difference. I was thinking it was much longer. I got you. Nah, nah. I mean, last week I did that. I played um, I played with you guys, and then I streamed Evil Within two for like two or three hours. I can't remember, but I tried to go a little bit longer on my Friday night stream so I can like have time to play with other people and do my own thing at the same time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, what else? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, boy. I forgot to put a link. Uh, I'll, I'll get this here in a second. But I also played a demo for a game called Blue Omen Operation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, uh, let me let me tell you. Apparently, it's kickstarted. It's like a Kickstarter game, of course. Mm-hmm. But um, let me get to the actual Kickstarter here. It's like a – they call it like a action command RPG I really have you played the um, what were they like the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga games? No, nope, never even heard of them. Like the the ones for the Game Boy Advance and shit. 
Yeah, no, yeah, I never play those. Nope. nope. Okay, well, I tried. Okay. Oh, well, um, <laughs> basically, they're typical RPG games, except for like when you're in the fight, it, it kind of encourages like um, timing and effect and like um, strategy and whatnot. Because if you just hit attack, if you like select the attack option, click attack then you'll just attack once, but your character will like glow for a brief second. Mm -hmm. And if you press the action button, then like you can attack, attack additional times Oh, yeah. to the point where you can like attack up to like three or four times, depending on how good you're at with the things. But let me, it seems like they had some whisperings of that in, uh, was it super Mario RPG and, 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 and uh, paper Mario and stuff like that with the, uh, some yeah. of the, the aspects of that, but it, yeah, this game's actually, more, more based around that. Yeah, it's actually more. Yeah, uh, Paper Mario is, is basically the same thing. Yeah, but um, oh, this looks interesting. I know, oh, right? Like it looks old like style. Yeah, it's so cool. That's like I saw. Um, I can't remember how I found. Oh, I was like looking through PC Gamer for news, and then he said this this game's demo's out today. I'm like, oh, oh shit, this looks this looks right up my alley. Yeah, it's like it's uh, the art style is like '80s, like old '80s anime, but like good. Mm -hmm. You know, because like, yeah, not, um, not, not all '80s anime was good. I'm just saying, like it has that type <laughs> of vibe. I think the artist, if I remember right, like he was heavily inspired by Akira Toriyama and various yes. people like that. And uh, it's really cool. Like your main guy is like a grease head that has like a has been infected by some parasite, so his like left arm just changes into like random weapons and shit. That's cool. And then um, the other one, the other person's a witch, space witch or something like that. I don't uh. know. Classic space but switch. Yeah. Classic, right? <laughs> just, just a dime a dozen, another... you know. Exactly. But I, I played a little bit of it, but like I got too excited. Like I it's it's kinda like an interesting interesting struggle that I go through now doing trying to do YouTube and play video games in my free time. Like mm -hmm. this would be better for a video or like a stream instead of just me playing it. But God fuck, I really want to play it though. I don't want to just play it out. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. have the exact same struggle. And the way we fixed yeah. that was just well, I guess, I guess we'll, you know, some games will just have to be offline, and other games will be online, and we're mm. just gonna try not to think about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> try not to cry in our pills too too much late at yeah. night. But you can check the demo out. I put the link on the chat. Um, you can also, uh, I'll probably put it in like the description and shit for the podcast. Yeah, I'll try to remember to get to get that in on the video. Oh yeah, yeah. all good. But um, I th think that's it for me yeah that's it for me this week yeah i did ah, it okay cool 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 uh games that we played this week we played quite a bit of games actually this week um and, and besides the ones that we we streamed we streamed uh assassin's creed origin i don't remember anything that happened and in that i don't game. remember i also don't remember anything that happened in assassin's creed uh well actually okay i do because i just did the video so we had chariot <laughs> racing oh yeah Ooh. And, hey usa uh, voyager how's it going hey, how's usa it going voyager on? and uh so the chariot racing was was uh, actually not that bad. Matt was not wanting to do that at all. Yeah, <laughs> I hate racing in games. Yeah, so I don't like. It. Oh yeah, I just don't like it. It's not fun for me. So he did one like like the the very first tournament that you can do, which is like basically three races and that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Beat it, and uh, like just finally got his uh, like a handle on like the mechanics of it, and it was like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is like not fun. Uh, we got a new horse named Black Arrow, and he's a fucking beast. Yeah. yeah, he's faster than the previous one, and um, uh, he's he's just pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool horse. Mm. Uh, I can't really think of anything else really important that happened. We did like a story mission. Uh, one... Yeah, we've been mostly just doing the side quests and stuff like that. Yeah, like they're pretty you. fun. Yeah, the, there's this. They're not just like ah, go here, do this. They actually have like a little bit of like story they have voice acting and stuff like that which you know, is nice now that i think about it the game really does not feel like any assassin's creed I've, I've ever played like the whole story beats you know and like the way that the side quests are done a lot of the side mm -hmm. quests it kind of bleeds together it's like is this is this important to the world because all, all almost all of it feels like it, it it's like relevant to what's happening mm -hmm. yeah um and uh a lot of them have to do with like the different factions around but they're, they're not required for the main storyline but it kind of like fleshes out the world more, which I feel like is the best way to do quests in this in this type of environment. 
and it's something that I don't really remember running into in some of the older Assassin's Creed games, which were basically just like, oh, uh, hide amongst the nuns and then assassinate this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, it's 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 getting pretty good. Um, uh, then we played on Tuesday. Of course, we played Call of Cthulhu, and oh, yeah. uh, basically, uh, you know, broke the game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I completely forgot about all that happened yeah. that yeah. night. And then I broke the stream for about fourteen minutes of it. Um, but oh luckily, yeah, <laughs> but luckily, <laughs> like, like like most of the good stuff was in mm. what was available to be used. Like I went back and looked at it, so mm. it it wasn't as big of a of a of a faux pas as as I thought it was. Um, but I see uh, what you're trying to do, Spencer. You're trying to catch up with me on how mm. to fuck up streams completely. And you know what? Fuck you! I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep that title. That's mine. You will never beat me. Next stream I do, nothing is gonna be streamed at all. I mean, I'm just gonna say it is. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm totally streaming, guys. It's totally upload. Yeah, yep, it's I'm, all good. I'm live Don't right worry now. about. It. Where's everyone? What's going on? Purposely just start downloading a ton of shit. Tank your upload. So oh, yeah. you're just dropping frames. Set your bit rate stream. to like ten thousand. Yeah, no, set your bit rate to one hundred. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah the whole office, yeah. I don't understand. I'm only downloading ten copies of Destiny Two. I don't. I don't get what's going on. I don't. And also <laughs> uploading fuck? ten copies of Destiny Two. It's, it's just uh, you know, uh, I'm part of the Destiny Two Exchange. You guys ever heard of it? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so we play Call of Cthulhu and oh, yeah. uh, found out this crazy <laughs> thing where basically when you're in a cutscene that you're you're still playing the game, but you're just supposed to stand there and listen to someone talk. Apparently, you can hmm. just jump out of it and and then run around. And uh, we actually got past, we actually got past two parts of the game like pretty significantly using it, especially the uh, the minigun. Yeah, the minigun part was like, oh shit, oh, we, yeah. just, we can just jump past all this shit. This is amazing. Uh, and pro, a lot of the stuff doesn't. And hacks. Yeah, a lot of the stuff <laughs> doesn't work when you do it. Like uh, enemies don't attack you, and I, I'm not even sure if the bullets hit you while you were doing that. They they don't. Yeah, it was crazy. Mm. But it's only as long as the person's like talking to you. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of fun. Uh, that you know definitely brought the stream up because before that man we were having a hard fucking time playing that game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just so old and like not very good and like we mm. say in the stream it just like you know it lacks features. Yeah, oh my god, it's yeah. feature. It's it's, it's, it's featureless. It's feature barren. Yeah, it's like a eighty year old's <laughs> vagina is <just> barren. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. That's a. That was your first go. That was your first get to. Oh, huh? That was your man. first metaphor. Just no, you open the game up and it's just no like it's just room like, there. It's, it's just a cough of just like <laughs> dust. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. So we played out. that <laughs> out of oh. the vagina, of course, not the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we played that, and then we beat Tales of Berseria. Yeah. Finally, there are going to be when I'm done. Actually, getting it all all, all finished with the episodes. Mm. Like ninety-seven total episodes. That's actually not that bad. But it's one of our longest-running series. Hmm. Like of, of regular games, our um, our Europe Universalis Four series only went to like in the sixties of episodes, and that, I think that was our longest series. That's not Smash. So it's it's yeah. <laughs> you know we played fifty hours of that game yep. to beat it. And we, and, we, and we didn't even, like, unlock everything. Like, there were so many things we could have, like, spent time to unlock, like, uh, oh, uh, moves yeah. or... I I didn't once op optimize any of uh, the other characters, like, abilities or switch or do any of the swapping stuff. I didn't do any of that. Yeah, we pretty mm -hmm. much just, like... We just played through it. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, like, the ending is good. The final dungeon, it, like, is actually the worst thing so I've ever seen in my bad. life. It's it's so really? confusing. It doesn't tell you what the goal it, what is. What you need to do. It doesn't tell you like it gives you no information at all. Yeah, you're supposed to like touch these these like clockwork orbs to like mm -hmm. unlock these pads yeah, to yeah, teleport but, to. But, 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 but let me let me explain. So there's like these little fucking teleporter pads, right, that you go to and then like there's like these really big teleporter pads that are only unlocked by certain bits of like Orbs, orbs, or whatever that you, you find, find around a dungeon, it doesn't tell okay. you need to find these. They no. just look weird, and you're like, I wonder what that is. And then it gives you like a little description. Oh, this is a Nominod's fucking left nut, and you're like, huh, oh, I guess, I, guess just... I can sell that for treasure or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, we we keep finding these thing, these things, and we keep going up to these big teleporter portal thingies that are bigger than the little ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and we click on it, and it's like, yeah, this teleporter is not active. 
And that's the same message. Well, there's message. like a big stone obelisk behind it. And, and what's really confusing yeah. about that is it's the same message that the regular teleporter pads tell you. So it makes you think that you need to go around and find the, the yeah, thing like that the unlocks the other activators. ones. activators. Yeah. But you don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. You have to use those orbs and put them in those little obelisks. And it doesn't, and it, it's it doesn't no tell you. And the only reason why we <laughs> found out, because I was like, hey, uh, just check. Just make sure to check. And Spencer was spamming the A button. And, just, and then he mm. uh, spammed it near the obelisk. And it's like, yo, just put this fucking shit in it's there. Like, and it's like, oh, it's time to go. You didn't know this? You didn't know? <laughs> I thought we made it pretty clear. Yeah. And no, he didn't. <sighs> and that's after yeah, 30 thanks, minutes obelisk. No, of, that of was backtracking. No, that was like an hour to 45 minutes of of just like we're okay if we unlock every single path there must be a right way to go like if we went all the way back down to the bottom of the floor and then went all the way back up to the top and we're like we don't know where to go yeah this is, i was because looking at a walk through i was like i don't know what the fuck to do and they're like yeah just keep going uh you know just keep going through all the doors that you've unlocked and we're like we've done that we've gotten mm-hmm. to the end oh and what's also bullshit is that they give you a room that has like three doorways and then like an obelisk thingy and like obelisk tormentor and then like a teleport pad. Yeah. Mm. And then you go through another door and it shows you that exact same room, but yeah. it's a different room that leads to different areas. It's set uh, up exactly the same. Yeah. So you have yeah. no idea if you're like at first go through, you're like, well, actually like 15th go through because we went all through that fucking dungeon. Um <laughs> Like it, you think you're in the same room. Yeah, you think you're in the same room as you were just in. So you're like, well, I guess I'll just go through a different door. Yeah, and what's confusing right. about it is, uh, it's it's separated by like a little area. So you, you you leave that room. Yeah. Go through another door, and the place is already a maze. So it makes you think that you've just wrapped back around, mm-hmm. but it's an entirely different area. Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> and everything looks so similar mm-hmm. in the rest of the dungeon that it's just like impossible to know. And I'm so pretty sure. The... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Was the dungeon harder than the final boss? Is the next que- is my first question. We here. were we were about ten levels under leveled for the final boss. Oh but, shit! <laughs> yeah, I probably. Uh, in fact, I know I could have beaten the the final boss. Yeah. Uh, At that point, we were so done. Like we we're so close to the end. We spent like mm-hmm. an hour and a half in this fucking dungeon for no yeah. reason. <laughs> no reason. Yeah, because we yeah. had all we had all the items that we needed to the first time when we got to the end, mm-hmm. and then there was like an hour of just backtracking. Yeah, trying to figure out if we did Jesus. anything right. So we wasted a whole hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then uh, the, the final boss, there's like two main phases, right? And mm-hmm. I beat the first main phase and almost beat the second main phase. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I think I think I lost once on the main fa- on, on the first one. Yeah. And then and then redid it. I, I beat that one, almost beat the second one, and then we're like, okay, this this was pretty hard. Um, mm-hmm. We should try to, and we also didn't know that where it would send us, which phase it would send us to. Yeah, after we didn't we know lost if it would send one. us. Yeah, we lost at the second phase, so we didn't know if it was going to send us back to the first phase. So at the same mm-hmm. time, we're like, yeah, oh, we'll let's just put just, it on easy. Yeah, let's just put it on on like an easier mode just to get through it, right? Mm-hmm. And it puts mm-hmm. us at the beginning of the second phase, mm-hmm. which is kind of uh, it's annoying. nice, but we had no idea. Yeah, it was like, oh well, if we knew that, we would have stayed on normal because I feel like we could have beat that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, but I, yeah. I, I mean, the battle was cool, and they had oh like, yeah, these... they had like some really cool cutscenes and stuff like yeah, that for the battle. It was like like all, all the characters had like their moments and stuff in the mm-hmm. in the fight. It was pretty mm-hmm. sick. Um, um, but yeah, on easy mode, we like destroyed that oh, boss. F- easy mode eliminates any elemental advantages that were in the game. So yeah. like mm-hmm. throughout the whole game, you have like fire moves and water moves, and you got to figure out which ones work well against so and so, and then and then do all this other stuff. Right in easy mode, you just hit them. All your moves just do base damage. All of his moves do base damage. There's no strengths or weaknesses on anybody. No. It's like, <laughs> what? I mean, they call this mode simple, but I didn't even know. <laughs> That's so simple. So yeah. simple mode is surprisingly simple. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, in like fact, casual actually, mode is surprisingly yeah, after casual. After we beat it, we're like, man. <laughs> that was a little bit disappointing, actually. Because, yeah, because we, sh- we could have beat it. In normal mode. Yeah, one and the, we didn't get any kind of pride or accomplishment feeling. No, no pride or accomplishment. Yeah. Uh, at, at least for the battle. I mean, the, yeah. the game portion, uh, it, the, the game ended really well. Like, the ending was good. It was very satisfying. It had some cool, like, lore stuff that tied it with Zestiria even more than it already is. But, like, mm-hmm. even more completeness with uh, how the lore is mm-hmm. in, in the other game. So that's really cool. Um, uh, I don't think that I would have enjoyed to play the game on simple mode because the whole elemental system kind of adds like a depth to the combat that would have been just like, 
like why even do combat at that point <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Uh, well at that point you're just choosing moves because they're cool instead of actually what they're doing for you yeah, and at that point, you're just throwing numbers at numbers instead of like, oh, I got to go to this mode yeah. and fight him that way. Yeah. And it's like, attack, block, attack, block, dead, cool, yeah. XP, repeat. Yeah, from what I can see, we didn't do a whole lot of like w- like wasting time with the storyline. We didn't do hardly any of the side. Uh... There wasn't really that many. Well, there was the administration mm. in- administrative zones that we could have done. Uh, we did. Well, we did a majority of those. We did four of them, and I think we unlocked a couple more that we could have done. But they yeah. were they weren't mm. really all that great. Yeah, they were real easy. <laughs> um, we didn't finish all of the um, side quests. All, all the the red demon side quests that we could have done. We could have gone back and like. Uh, Bought really hard bosses, basically. Yeah, so we could oh, yeah. we, we could have done that, and I feel like there was a couple of more things we could do. But well, we could do the we could pick up those doll thingies. We could do the yeah, the thing dolls. with the Magilu's like comedy show, and then some other. Oh shit. yeah, yeah. There's a couple more things, but really the game, like most of the game is is main storyline, and it's still 50 hours. Yeah, and we weren't even fully leveled. We weren't like we weren't trying to min max anything too hard. Uh, we mm-hmm. did as best as we could with the information that we had, you know, on our first playthrough. But I feel like you could easily sink sixty or seventy hours into the game and then have it complete, like fully complete. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, we beat it in under fifty. So. Yeah. Speed run. <laughs> uh, and then... We also played uh, GeoGuessr. Yeah. With. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, we played it. What was it? Th- Wednesday nights. Yeah. And uh, for about an hour, and then we played it with you uh, yesterday. Which was fun. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's a game. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I did way better than I expected, and uh, I won. This fucking all of loser them. Spencer. I was like, we were talking about playing GeoGuessr. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna take like the first like probably ten or fifteen games that we play. Mm. Easy, because I'm yeah. stupid. But as soon as I learn, <laughs> I'll just like beat you, <laughs> which mm. is usually how it goes um, <laughs> with games. Oh, and uh, I, I I mentioned to Matt. And I, uh, there was a particular guess where I, I guessed very close to, to, to a location, and, 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 and Matt and Fiske both were like, how'd you, how'd you know to go to that? It was that Thailand, Cambodia, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I, I didn't feel like I had time to explain it in the moment because we're moving on to the next area. But uh, I, I actually, there's a series called Rare Earth. It's done by uh, uh, Chris Hadfield's son, which is that, the astronaut who, who did that uh, Not cover. the zombie killer? Yeah. Uh, he he did the cover of that that, that David Bowie song. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, t- t- what what the fuck is the point? <laughs> well, the point is he has a series called Rare Earth where he does a whole series on on uh, Japan and then a whole series on Cambodia. Mm-hmm. And, I and that's how Spencer videos. did it. So uh, anyway, that's how I knew that. Uh, so I recognize this stuff. Well, because we're, uh, we're coming up on thirty minutes. Yeah, I got you. Um, oh. uh, and then I play Final Fantasy Thirteen all week, and Why? that game. Is because I like to, you know, I just like I just wanted no, to play it. I, I think Mel no, wanted but, to see you. No, but, but why? <laughs> it's not that bad. No, but really, no, but really, why though? But like, it's not that bad. The, but I, but why? I, I, it's not that bad. <laughs> so I preference this by by I played the first twenty hours right, and <laughs> it's pretty much exactly like the memes are, where it's like, yeah, the game is actually like pretty good after twenty hours. That's true. Mm-hmm. The game is much better after twenty hours. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's just like sunk cost fallacy where you're like, I'm 20 hours in this. It has to get better. Uh, but the beginning 20, like 15 hours are fucking brutal. They're brutal. They're boring. Yeah. It's not fun. And you're pretty much just watching a fight happen every single time. There's hardly any strategy. And so what I did was after 20 hours, I was like, I'm kind of just like over watching these people just like fight and then not be able to do anything. Uh, yeah, that storyline, exactly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to cheat. So I cheated. Matt has not told oh. Yeah. So I used a, what is a, a trainer and I got everybody up real high and I got all the ultimate weapons and stuff like that. And the battles are still kind of long. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, but like it's the 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 it's just such a slog. The because the combat is not engaging at all. It doesn't keep you interested because like if you're playing, a, they pretty much just like break everything down to like a debuffer, a buffer, uh, DPS, and tank, and whatever. But if you're playing mm-hmm. the tank, 
and you're like, all right, I got to heal. So you go, all right, I'm going to switch to my healing paradigm. And then someone's like gets killed or whatever because they can't do nothing but heal. Mm -hmm. Fucking stupid. They can't attack or do anything. So they're just healers. (laughs) They get wrecked by a boss or something like that. You go to um, revive them. You have to cancel all of your moves. So you have to queue up moves and everything in... Uh, I almost said Persona. This game's not Persona. Uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy XIII. Um, so you're a tank. You're like, all right, give me that aggro. Oh, someone's died. All right, never mind. You guys can just have all the aggro back. I don't want it no more. Because they just, like, as soon as you stop tanking, they're like, yeah, it's free for all. So <laughs> then it just wrecks your whole team. And you're like, I just wanted to do a Phoenix down. Just, like, <laughs> just wanted one Phoenix down. So I was like, fuck this. The battles are taking way too long. It's stupid. And it's not fun. Uh, so I cheated. I'm not proud of it. I hardly ever cheat in games. But mm-hmm. I was like, this is just too much. So now what I'm doing is, is I just have like the, the whatever, the, the sept gel or whatever that makes you invisible to enemies. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like run into every fucking waypoint. I'm just like, give me the story. I don't care anything else. No fights, no nothing, because I'll just hit on, turn on one hit KO for bosses. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I just, I'm going. I'm, we're going all the way. Anyway, so that's my so Final Fantasy it's, 13. It's just, it's, so it's you most... had to turn on cheats, and it still took you 20 hours to get no, to I the good part. No, I didn't turn on cheats the... until 20 hours. Oh. Yeah, I played the whole oh. first 20 hours just, just like an idiot. But why, though? Because I'm interested in the storyline, and apparently think, yeah. Final or Final Fantasy Thirteen Two is good, and it has like a like a Pokemon element to it, and I'm all about that. Yeah, yeah I think like the the the, the, the sub Final Fantasy Thirteen games actually were better than the first one. If I if I remember correctly, I saw my friends play it, and I I could never get into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it, it it has that huge like, hey, you should probably play Final Fantasy Thirteen One. But you you don't want to play that game. Yeah, it's like the, a, yeah. the beginning of that game killed it, like yeah, <laughs> like it destroyed it. Because if you you have to work so hard to be like, it'll get better. That's what I had to keep telling myself. I'm like, <laughs> I hate all of you. Hope I hope you fucking die. Lightning, <laughs> what you have less personality than Squall? How is that possible? Like. And all he does is say whatever and dot, dot, dot. You have less yeah. personality than him. <laughs> like, but after 20 hours, you're like, okay, this is kind of nice. Everybody's, you know, gelling. It takes 20 hours mm-hmm. for everybody to get back together. But, yeah, because you're split up. You only yeah, like you're two split characters. up pretty much the whole time. Which is dumb yeah. because the whole thing is about paradigm shifting and stuff like that. And like having yeah, like, I'm going like to paradigm shift with com- two people. Yeah, like party composition. <laughs> and then like for the first 10, 15 hours, you're just with two people. Yeah, yeah. it's stupid. God. But I'm excited for Final Fantasy XIII, too. <laughs> I'm not really okay. that hyped for Final Fantasy XIII. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, just like... Nobody is. I'm just going to do it <laughs> and cheat. I don't give a fuck. Well, thank you for taking the bullet for us so we can get a fresh perspective on it in 2017. Thank you. Thank you. I was like, after Persona, I need somebody to get attached to. I'm bored. I don't have any good <laughs> games to play. I have <laughs> so many good games to play. So have you been attached to anybody yet? Is it my, eh, it's is getting my, there. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Vanille? Yeah, I, I, I like I like Vanille. Yeah, she's all right. You know what? I Vanille, enjoy like the, Don't care. Great is game. Is she the lightning sister? Uh, no, no. no Vanille that was Sarah. This, this. She's basically uh, like like she's like Australian. The, yeah, she's like this oh, Australian. Oh, girl. the mm-hmm. boomerang girl. Yep. No. Uh, boomerang. No? That's boomerang boy. That's Hope. Yeah. Oh, Vanille yeah, I, is I, whip I, whip lady. Okay, I played an hour of it like uh, yeah. many, many moons ago. Might not even vanilla then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Edge. I like. It's not a terrible game. Like, it's not a terrible game. The combat mm. is so not fun, though. It's just not fun. I have heard that later on. <laughs> later on, the combat does get more interesting because of the more players and the more. Well, yeah, but you can still only you have three people in your party, and it's just like you pretty much literally you switch. You go tank, heal. Well, my bad. It's not like mm-hmm. that. You go DPS, tank, heal, DPS, mm-hmm. tank, heal. Someone died, res. If you don't get to res them, party wipe. You're like, okay. And if your main <laughs> character dies, that's it. 
like even if the oh, other great. two are alive, it ends the battle, which is fucking stupid. Yeah, they, yeah, that's yeah. a dumb way to do it. Anyways, fuck it. All right, first actual topic of the gay, of the of the day. Of the gay. Uh, the first topic of the gay. Um, uh, we're done with the games we play this week. <laughs> oh, I um, played Doki Doki Literature Club on Monday. That's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> I forgot about that. That game's terrifying. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna talk first about UFC three. And a little bit about Red Dead Redemption, but mostly about UFC 3. So mm. UFC 3 just had a, uh, a closed beta and then open beta uh, that ended on is ending on the 4th. So it's actually currently going on uh, in the time of this recording. And uh, there was some, con- uh, some controversy about the game because when the beta went live, uh, a lot of players were seeing a bunch of stuff about microtransactions. And... Mm. Uh, and EA already took that huge hit of PR with their bullshit Battlefront 2 microtransaction shit. Yeah, so, so everybody people, was like, I'm going to tear this shit apart. And apparently IGN... I dare you to have a microtransaction in a game again. <laughs> I dare you. And, and uh, dare. IGN uh, actually apologized in their uh, article that they had updated about the about what was going on because they mm-hmm. had misrepresented what was actually happening because of the information that was coming out was not official sources. It was just what people were saying, and it was mostly what people were kind of extrapolating based on what they saw. Yeah. As it turns out, um, there, there are loot boxes and there are microtransactions, but it's primarily in one mode. It's one online mode called um, Ultimate, uh, U- UFC Ultimate Team. And it's an, an online mode where you have like a b- bunch of your characters, and I think you have like a roster or something like that that you play with. But, uh, and it has boosts and perks and gives you different like f- fighter moves and ups their stats and health and stuff like that. And the reasoning for that was that they felt it made things a bit more even so that they could avoid as much unevenness as possible, which is almost like the exact word that they used uh, for the matchmaking uh, so that everything could be more, like, I don't know, fair for players. Mm-hmm. Um, you can purchase it with in-game currency or actually purchase it with real money, but uh, the vast majority of the rest of the game has no microtransactions that actually affect the fighters or unlock fighters or anything like that. It's apparently the combat's even, it's way more in-depth and uh, to the point of some players actually at first didn't like it and thought it was really like weird or, or hard, but apparently mm-hmm. if you spend more time with it, it's actually like really intuitive and and probably one of the more realistic uh, approaches to uh, that type of combat in in a game, even more so than what it was in UFC 2, which was actually pretty good then. Yeah. So pretty uh, complex. <laughs> it's looking like actually a pretty good game, and and I'm 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 happy that the microtransactions aren't nearly as bad as as it was at first made out to be. Um, but so I, far, I, so, yeah, far. so far, so far, they could always change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but apparently they're really taking a lot of uh, g- g- you know g- critical feedback and the, you they know. fucking always say yeah, that. So <laughs> they're just like, oh yeah, we heard about Battlefront two. We're sorry, just like we're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I I, I hope well, that they stick with what they've been saying so far. Yeah. The only difference between us bitching about EA before Battlefront two is that now Disney executives are kind of bitching at EA like, what the fuck. We gave you a million dollar. We gave you the golden baby of the future, and you, mm-hmm. you, yeah, you fucking punted it across the gold field or across the goal line by like mm-hmm. three thousand yards. You killed it. You, <laughs> you killed, killed the golden the baby. baby. Mm-hmm. That golden yeah. goose is a golden scrambled egg now. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then you might be asking, what does this have to do with with Red Dead Redemption? Well, you know, microtransactions. Mm-hmm. Um, Fiske, did you have any more information about that? Because all I could find was that the C- the CEO had confirmed. That there are going to be microtransactions. Uh, yeah, he was. Um, I kind of misunderstood. Like when I first saw the article, I was like, "Oh God, they're going to put, they're doubling down on loot boxes. Why would you do that?" But no, actually, what they're they uh, they're not fans of loot boxes, but um, they but they uh, just they don't. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, they're not fans of loot boxes, but they also think that loot boxes are not gambling necessarily. They mm. just uh, think it's just like free money. Like, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what they think. But um, no, they they just kind of like uh, let's see. In terms of reactions, we're going to explain this issue about content. Um, just, da, 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 da. I mean, that's really kind of it. Like, it's just it, they had a it was a a presentation for investors. Yeah. For the Take Two interactive company or whatever, 
And he was asked to comment on the controversy regarding loot boxes and microtransactions. And da, 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 there's a, it worked, didn't it meant, oh, but yeah, he said it's worth mentioning that Slade off the guy, the president of um, Take Two, did not mention one way or or the other of in, having any intention of using the feature in future games. Yeah, but like so he kept it pretty vague. Will. So yeah, yes. yeah. If it makes if it makes decent money, I mean, I'm sure. Oh, they I already mean, have they. they they already have the shark cards and shit from yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5. GTA 5 so. is making so much money on online. There's stupid mm. shark cards and all that other shit. Shark cards? Yeah. Shark. Shark. And I'm then they have like shark cards now. Megalodon shark. card and like, oh, like it's just a bunch of bullshit. And then he like tweeted, he's like, yeah, I just like really love microtransactions or some shit like that. Mm. Of course you do. stupid. Line your pockets with sharks. Uh, <laughs> Nothing but sharks, but yeah, he's not saying blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you just kind of stress that it's important to have consumers re- reoccurring consumer spending. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was trying to find that again because I actually closed it. But yeah, that that was his line: the reoccurring consumer spending, so that they could have mm. continuing contact in all their games moving forward. Yeah. Uh, so so definitely uh, uh, microtransactions, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people you know saying or or, or alleging that there was the possibility of it, it it kind of seeping into the single player mode of the game but most likely it's mm. probably just going to be a bit more beefed up version of what they had for online in the first game yeah i mean they had some i guarantee they're going to take the exact same route with what they did with what the fuck is that game gta 5 yeah, yeah probably yeah i mean if they keep it with online i can handle that kind of but yeah cuz i only really care about the single player anyways <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless you can make your own gang of friends and like become, you know, you know, a wandering band of 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 of, oh, of God. evil cowboy people across the online, then fuck it, guys, saddle up. All right, because we're gonna we're gonna go bring back the posse. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's basically it for for UFC three um, and and mm. Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully not as bad as we think they are. Probably will be. Yeah. Um, Probably worse. Yeah. Two K doesn't really have that great of a reputation. Yeah. So, two K, take two. Yeah, take two. Sorry. <laughs> uh, also, two K. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, and two K. Yeah, they're both. Bad. Get them all. Burn them all. <laughs> uh, next story on the list, we have Fortnite sues a kid. Yeah, Jesus, this this fucking thing. <laughs> so, so Epic Games, uh, it's it's actually two uh, lawsuits going on. Uh, hmm. One has just settled for this guy who is actually cheating in the game. Um, and the way they settled it was interesting because uh, basically they accused him of, of copyright infringement and breach of contract by injecting unauthorized computer code in order to cheat. And he had actually been banned at least nine times but registered new accounts to continue his cheating. And uh, he was also ex- suspected of having written codes for the cheats. Um, and mm-hmm. so in, it, at, at the end of it, uh, they had come to an agreement where basically uh, the, the proposed injunction signed today – forbids uh, the guy from carrying out any copyright infringements in the future to destroy all cheats and to never cheat again. Uh, among other things, he's prohibited from creating, writing, developing, advertising, promoting, and or distributing anything that infringes Epic's works now or hereafter protected by any of Epic's copyrights. And if he, uh, if, if there's no mention of a settlement for the time being, but if he, infr- if he breaks that contract, then he has to pay them $5,000. I bet you it's per oh. infraction too. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, probably. What this guy was saying, which is interesting, uh, because he's like, they're not trying to bankrupt the cheaters, but they're trying mm. to make an example of them. Because they're yeah, not charging I mean, any money for even this infraction. I, I, I don't think that's that's what it makes it sound like. So, but it's just like, yo, if this happens again, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, but also they're the kids, the kids involved, and well, the, okay, yeah, this that, that is was, a different. Yeah, one. this is a, that was a different. This is the same. Oh, sorry. Also. Yeah so, yeah, so this is the other lawsuit w- 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 with just a guy who was cheating, right? So yeah, gotcha. probably, you know, a, a semi-understandable uh, situation. Uh, mm-hmm. The second situation is for a 14-year-old kid uh, who is accused of doing similar actions. And mm-hmm. um, his mother got involved and wrote a letter to Epic Games and was basically like, hey, this is totally not what, what was happening. You're using him as a scapegoat. And uh, he's 14 years old, so and she brings up a bunch of law about about you know how you can't really treat the situation the way you would with an adult. And the the response to her was uh, apparently in the letter she included the kid's f- f- full first and last name and address, which is if if 
the defendant is a minor, you're not supposed to release that information and only refer to them by their initials. And they use this term where it's basically she, she wavered his protections. And mm. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like protections from not being charged as an adult. Well, no, I or think that she just like, wavered his privacy. His, or, or just wavered his privacy, yeah. So, yeah. But they I mean, didn't really no, go like, into that. Like, if you could just be like, all right, I'm going to try you as an adult. And then, you know, just because I released your name, that yeah, doesn't make any sense. That's the part that confused me. But it's the way just they, the privacy. The way that they kept talking about the protections made me think that it was a more serious, like, mm. issue. Yeah. Um, so, like, hmm. imagine, like, a kid, like, he kills your mom, right? Yeah. And then the dad is, like, he writes a letter to the court with the kid's full name in it. Because yeah. he's like, I'm going to get this motherfucker. Now he's fucked. Yeah. Now he's fucked. Now he's going to be tried as an adult because yeah, no, of this loophole. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so apparently they're just going to refer to the kid by his initials from now on or not even use his name. Um, and they're still, they're still going to go forward with it. They're going to be like, yeah, okay, well, we're still going to... Mm. We're still going to take you to court over it, and the, this article well, is basically like, well, it might have a similar situation then as the other guy if it get, if it does get finished. I think another thing that added on to this was that this kid made a YouTube video complaining like, oh, Epic is suing me because I used cheats and I blah blah blah. He basically bitches. He bitches about Epic for um, enforcing the rules. That's one thing. And he actually and cheated. then he says he cheated. Uh, yeah, he, he, well, he first says, I was basically cheating, but then, like, after, like, watching the, the video for, like, a few more minutes, he says, like, yeah, so I was I was cheating in, in Fortnite, and I was using cheats from blah, 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 and uh, and uh, now Epic Games is suing me for cheating, and that was bullshit, because you can cheat, like, it's so easy to cheat nowadays, and I, I don't cheat, I don't cheat for, to win, or to to be good at the game, or to, like, make people pissed off. I cheat to have fun, okay? That's how I have fun. And this is, this is I think that's almost I verbatim this guy from what you said. so good at school. <laughs> He's probably the best at school. Teachers are just being they so hard him. on me for, for, for punching them in the face every time mm -hmm. they talk to me. And I don't and understand I, why they're so But that's just how I learn. Off. Yeah, I don't punch people in the face to hurt them or to hurt their feelings or hurt their face. Uh -huh. But it's just how it's just, it's just how I learn new just, new concepts. That's just how I understand things. So because of that, he made a video basically saying, confirming that he did cheat, and yeah, he also he also like let them like he let people know how to cheat or like where to get the cheats from. Mm. Uh, they did a Epic Games did a DMCA takedown on his video, but then he Which is well within their right. Yeah. Yeah, and but he chose to contest it. Oh. So now no. so now they have to double down. So that's no. why he's in like a yeah. He totally fucked himself so hard. Why would you contest that? It's their right. Well, not even that. Mm. Why would you make the video in the first place just confirming Cuz he's I an cheated. idiot. Oh my god, yeah, he's, he's so dumb. This man yeah, is stupid as hell. The, the, now looking at the whole situation, the mom is like just grasping at straws. She's like, "Ah, oh, don't mm. You know, like, I don't mm. want to get charged for my child because my child totally fucked the situation because she's going to be responsible. Yeah. I can't remember. I think this, I think at this, this did happen before she made the note, but yeah. yeah, basically Epic said like, under these circumstances, the law requires that we file suit or drop the claim regarding to the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then they're not going <laughs> to, why would they drop it? They're yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, like, okay, kid. You want to go to the fucking show? Let's go to the show. They're probably like, all right, kid, just you know, here we're suing you, but we're not really going to sue you. We'll just settle this. We'll be okay. Mm. Just you know, just take it or whatever. They actually, like, uh, fuck you. I'm going to make a video about this, and then you can't do anything because the people will know that you're fucking me over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, hell. can you put the video down? No, uh, you can't get rid rid of my free speech. Fuck you, man. God, goddamn, you really going to make mean, us if do he this? Use gameplay from Epic Games, then yeah. They can. And he's also telling people yeah. how to and cheat in the game. And what kind of yeah. fucking idiot would contest that? He must not know. <laughs> no, he doesn't like, know. Like, he he's must 14. not know. He probably that, didn't know, yeah. That if you contest it, then they have, like, they, they have that's a the next fucking step. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. to respond after that. Yeah. <laughs> You're basically asking them to take it further. Mm -hmm. I mean, this explains a lot more of, 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 of what the mother was saying about uh, using him as a scapegoat, her claim that they're mm -hmm. using him as a scapegoat, because of the... Uh, you know, her, her side of it is, is like, oh, yeah, he was telling people how to cheat. So they're basically using him as an example, which is like, yes, they should, you know, within their, mm. their rights and stuff like yeah, that. They're yeah, they're totally in the right. <laughs> I would take yeah, this punk so. ass to court, too.
DM say right? all yeah. his goddamn videos. Especially if he's cheating and ruining everyone, everyone else's fun with the game, even though it's free. Yeah, but you it, know, it's, it's just for game. his entertainment, dude. Yeah, yeah he well, doesn't do it to. That's he exactly. doesn't do it to bad guy. <laughs> he's, not, he's, a, he's just a kid, guys. You know, leave him alone. So what? He's stupid and doesn't understand how the world works. He's going to learn now. <laughs> like if Nintendo was like, hey, we're going to need you to take off every project and video you've ever done on your YouTube channel. We'd be mad, but we'd do it. I'd be, I'd be like, okay. Sorry, Reggie. <laughs> well, Hovers yeah. over the contest button for just a brief second and then sulks away. And then think <laughs> better of it. Remember that 14-year-old yeah. kid? He was such a dumbass. I laid into him hard. I don't want to be like him. <laughs> Can I beat Nintendo? Hmm. Hmm. Well, my dad no, works no, at Nintendo. No. I might have an inside man. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. God damn it. Yeah, so wow. hopefully uh, this, hopefully that kid at least learns something after all this. I, go um, see, I hope he like, gets flayed open in the court of law. Yeah, with words well, and stuff. Yeah. With know, words, not yeah. murdered, but no, like... But like, like <laughs> Figuratively flayed. <laughs> no, well, actually, surprisingly, you don't know this, but uh, that's the actual. That's what happens when you sue a, a, a minor in the court of law, and mm -hmm. they can't afford the damages. They, they have to actually, f they fillet him in front of the jury of mm -hmm. his peers, which of are all peers. other kids, <laughs> of, of other fourteen-year-old kids that play video <laughs> games online. That's and the funny. judge, and the judge actually has to flay the kid while staring at the other jury of fourteen-year-old kids and at, the mom. The Some time. kids there with an air horn, like. Bow, bow, bow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Next fucking topic. <laughs> Jack and Dexter uh, is, uh, is getting released on the PS4, uh, the first three games. Well, the first one's oh, already yeah. on there. This oh, is the well, next two. The other two. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's like they're not really changing anything. They're just, they're just porting it. Um, let me double check real quick. Three, three Jack and Dexter PS2 classics arrive on PS4 next week. So probably this upcoming week. Uh, Sony's finally releasing the, the rest of the Jack and Daxter series to PlayStation 4. Uh, Jack 2, Jack 3, and Jack X Combat Racing. Uh, well, oh, well. So really just Jack 2 and Jack 3. Yeah. Um, mm. That will follow the PS4 debut of the first game, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, by three and a half months. Uh, and that one launched in uh, August 22nd alongside Uncharted Lost Egg Legacy. Um, let me see here. This just talks about when the games were originally released. Yeah, it looks literally... Oh, uh, as with all PS2 on PS4 titles, these games are being up to 1080p resolution, and Sony is adding PS4 features such as PlayStation Network trophies, share play, and remote play. Ooh. What, what uh -huh. I really do not understand is they have the precursor legacy whatever. Like, they had all three of those games already remastered for PlayStation 3. Yeah. Why are they porting the PlayStation 2 ones? When they have them on PlayStation 3, why would you just not port the PS3 one? Unless their architecture is totally non compatible. Compatible. Yeah, right. yeah. It's a mystery. Oh, um, yeah. Maybe the work that was put into making those, I, I don't know if those were remastered or not, uh, but the work in, in, in getting the work for, for, for the PS3 uh, makes it so they can't just port them as easily as, as from the PS2, maybe. I have no idea. Yeah. But yeah, so. That's happening. I'm not a scientist. Yeah. For Jack and Daxter uh, <laughs> fans, uh, you can now get it on your PS4 if you don't have a PS3 anymore. Did you know there's an Okami remaster being made? Really? Yep. Oh. It's coming out on Steam, too. Oh, nice. Oh, it's, oh nice. Then I was, didn't realize it was coming out on Steam, but yeah. I, oh, I, I just found so out like... On, on PC then, right? <laughs> yeah. I just found out like yesterday. I'm like, what the f why didn't anybody tell me this? I'm going to buy 10 copies just for myself. Fuck. That's the where you're like a wolf and you like paint shit. Oh yeah, I love oh, oh, oh Kami. Oh, oh, love that I game. I never played it. Good yeah, thing. I never played it either. Heard it was good though. Uh, uh, well, yeah, well, you, you know, should. You should now pick we it up. can experience it. You know, on yeah. PC. Uh, yeah, with 1080p and you know all those fancy graphical features that have uh, cool names. I mean, the art style looks really good. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Speaking don't, don't, of of upper as don't get me started. I have upper as Final Fantasy 13 from 4K down to whatever. At 60 frames, game looks fucking beautiful. It looks beautiful. When it's playing itself, it looks so good. Just just experiencing the game. Yeah. Just like And sometimes I'll hit L1 and mm -hmm. then like they'll shimmer a little bit and change, you know, roles and then they'll fight by themselves some more. Matt, it's okay. You can, you can, you can like the game. You know what? You should have. I'm still no. gonna give you shit for it. No, no, I'm giving it shit. This is <laughs> this is real salt from the game. Not, I'm not making fun of you. Making fun of me. I'm making fun of me. Making fun of me. Um. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it's a triple agent job here. <laughs> God damn it. I just realized we should have just a super chill stream where Matt just sits there and and then everyone just hangs out and watches the combat. Just do just just like play itself. And he just presses L1. And then so like you the chat watch just... a movie together. So yeah. so the no no you okay. see there's a whole other element though. The chat will vote for when for how long he has to wait before hitting L1 in a in the battle. <laughs> He's like, oh, that sounds, oh, nope. That sounds so really intense. So we voted to 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 extend it for another five seconds. I can't do it yet. Mm. Oh, they had to pay bids to extend the timer. Mm. Oh god. Yeah. So nobody's gonna do it. People were just gonna come in and watch probably. Probably. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. The game could like if they had just kept a regular turn based style. Mm. Be, like it'd be so much better. Yeah. If they kept. They, they were kept really it. going for like let's do let's do something new, guys. We don't we're if sticking to old style. Let's do some new. They made it. If they made it like a real game, that would be really cool. Yeah, that would be really sick. <laughs> See, it's like the exact opposite of Call of Cthulhu. There's too much features. There's too much stuff going on that you can't even play the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this they is the other side of the of Call of Cthulhu. We don't even need to be there to play Final Fantasy 13. When people aren't playing it, it's playing itself. <laughs> you could probably Final program something 13. just Never to press stops. L1. Just have, like, well, you have, have, a you have to play. like scroll and pick which you know paradigm. You uh, know. You it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, <laughs> all right, next topic. Uh, Life is strange. Actresses are coming back for a special episode of Life is Strange. Ooh, I forgot to look that up. This Ooh. one's you. All oh, right. So original life, <laughs> so Life is Strange actresses return for a special episode. Farewell to reunite Ashley Birch, Hannah Tell. With the Video Game mm. Voice Actors Union uh, no longer on strike, performers are able to return to the recording booth and resume some of their best-known roles. Among the first to do so is Ashley Birch, the voice of Life is Strange's Chloe Price, who will play the character one more time in an upcoming episode of the prequel series. So Square Enix announced that oh. both Birch and, Hact and, and actor, and, and actor uh, Hannah Tell, the voice of Max Caulfield, will return for Farewell, the bonus episode included in Life is Strange before the Storm's deluxe re release. Both will launch early next year and mark the reunion of two actors who were held back from the project due to the strike. Neat. Gotcha. I didn't realize that it was a special episode for the prequel. Huh, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're not coming back fully because they already hired those other people, probably. Well, no. It, yeah. like, it, it was like a prequel, so I'm sure they'll in the sequel they'll come back. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe, uh, I wonder how that's going to work. Yeah. That's why they originally made a prequel instead of a sequel. Interesting. They went that far with like, you know what, guys? There's a strike going on. Let's just do. Let's just go back and do a prequel. Fuck it, right? With new people. With like new people, and mm. then we'll just wait for the strike to be done. It'll it'll end eventually. Someday we have storyline <laughs> we can just throw together. Um. So yeah, I mean that's that's basically it with that. I mean, any any comments regarding? I mean, did did you play? Has any any of us actually played Life is Strange? I watched Nornline play it. Yeah, I watched the uh, Super Best Friends play it. That's pretty much. None of us it. have played it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next. It looks thing... really cool. <laughs> So, Fiske, tell me about PSVR trial. Oh, yeah. Um, from what I remember, PSVR, like play, Sony PlayStation, is allowing certain um, PlayStation Plus members to try out the PSVR for uh, about two weeks. Basically, what you do is, like, they send you an email. Mm -hmm. They will say, like, oh, well, you can try it out if you want. And... What will happen is they will put a, a hold on your credit. You had to have a credit card to use this. They will put a hold on your credit card until you return it, like if you return within 10 days or so. But if you don't return it and you want to keep it, they just charge your card. So basically, you get the it's the PSVR, like the entire fucking kit. It's like the move controllers, the camera, the VR headset. Also comes with Skyrim VR. So that's, you know, oh, it, fuck it, it, why not? It's like a demo, right? It's like a demo yeah. of Skyrim VR? I don't think I think it's like the full thing. I mean, because you had to bring it all back within two weeks if you don't want to play it anyway. So hmm. I don't see why they would give you the demo. demo Just yeah. enough time to scan it all and remake it in my 3D printer. But let me double check real quick just to make sure. Just gotta learn how to solder and make everything Circuit from scratch. Tree. <laughs> just just gotta Bucket. learn how to you know make the technology from disassembling this technology. I'll put it inside my replicator on the Starship Enterprise. Okay, yeah, it is the elder. It's the, like the full Skyrim VR game and the wow. PSVR demo disc 2.0. What's on the 2.0 demo disc? I can't believe there's a 2.0. Well, as opposed to the 1.0, 2.0, it, it's all right. No, actually, I think my when I went down for Thanksgiving, my it's aunt and uncle had the PSVR and they had like a couple weird demo discs. Like one was actually called the demo disc. The other one was called the 
PSVR classics or some stupid shit like that. There's already classics. Which, Dude, at this point, I, I'm literally like, every VR game is a demo. Yeah. Every? Well, uh, well Resident Evil 7 is a full game that can be played in VR. Is it out yet? Mm. Resident it's, Evil. It's, is it out? 7? Out yet? The VR portion? It's been out. Uh, it, was, oh, okay. it came cool. out. Yeah, it came, it, really, out it. It, it came out with it. All right. You can one. play it. You can play either one, yeah. There's one. There's <laughs> one game, yeah. And, and it's Better a free demo zero. then, right? So anybody can do it. What? You let, let, let No, me. no. They, you have to select PS4 people. Oh, it's just like PS4 yeah, people? Yeah, they pick you. Oh, yeah. but you can sign up for it then, right? No. it's They pick you. Wait. Um, oh. Let me double check. Yeah, something interesting. Adoption issue with the new program. Blah, blah, blah. They like it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the program is currently open to select PlayStation Plus members in the United States. They'll yeah. receive a unique registration code via email mm-hmm. that lets them reserve a PlayStation VR trial bundle. The plate, yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, so they pick the people. One. So should we get should we like get a PS the PlayStation Plus? I haven't Plus gotten bundle, a... and then send them just like a hey guys. I mean, I I heard you had to, you're doing well, this thing listen, and, and listen, we're influencers. Listen, listen, listen. They just said that you just have to be a pay PlayStation Plus for person. Mm. That's all. And then they'll select you in the U.S. Yeah, but we should send them an email trying to convince them to. <laughs> I don't want to deal Perfect. with the sending it back. Yeah, that's true. That's actually a hassle. Oh, well, okay. This is actually kind of interesting. Like the Because um, that bundle you get for the trial is actually called like the PlayStation VR Skyrim bundle that you can like normally buy, mm-hmm. which is like about 450 But if you keep this trial bundle, you only pay $300. Whoa. I did not know that. I did not know that before. That so that's is, pretty cool. That is a way to get people to just purchase it. Yep. They give the, they give you yeah. the item. They're like, hey, look how cool this is. Look at this all the stuff you get from yeah. it. And it's like, literally one hundred fifty dollars cheaper than what you usually get it at. Might as well just purchase it because otherwise you got to send it back, and that's a hassle. <laughs> that's the whole plan. Fuck it. <laughs> they're trying to get it into more people's homes by way of just making it be like like engineering their their way into making you have a PSVR. Mm. It's genius. It's almost like these oh, guys yeah. know how to marketing works. Finally. And run a Science big works. business. <laughs> or something like that. It's That's crazy. just but, uh, speculation. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows how big Sony is. Oh, uh, well, the place... Uh, this new indie uh, game company. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the update is official. Uh, the promotion is available 1 through 14, December 1st to the 14th. And it's the program's already full, so never mind. Don't worry about it, guys. Oh. Uh, They're only going to yeah. have 1,400 people do it, so... Never mind. We're not part of those fourteen hundred people. No, almost guaranteed. We aren't. I checked. We don't have any emails from. Damn. <laughs> uh, well, the only other topic, unless there's more about it, I was just gonna say the only other topic we have is uh, Final Fantasy XV is getting an update where they're bringing in swapping of characters. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't really know like what the significance of that uh, is. Yeah, you get to swap in between Ignis. Like Ponto they paid, they put the Tales formula into the Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Uh, play play as Ignis, Gladio, and Prompto in the main game. Yeah. That's cool. Nifty. Yep. You play as Ignis, you're just like, yeah, fuck, there's a fucking new recipe. Yeah. <laughs> That's your whole mission in the in every fight. <sighs> gotta, gotta milk some recipes out of this. So the new feature is expected to hit around the same time as episode Ignis, the story based on a little bit of content yep. that focuses, focuses on Ignis and drops on December 13th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it had, where he became a chef, where he went to culinary school. <laughs> His whole background. And oh, uh, Lieutenant Corbis, tune in next week. We usually have more questions and answers during then while we talk with people. So Yeah, we're going to have some guests on next week anyways, so that would be a, a, a pretty good time to do that. We don't have time, unfortunately, today. Yeah. Um, but and we, yeah, uh, we also started like an hour ago, so you gotta yeah. gotta get in there sooner. Otherwise, yeah, but it's up to follow. You know, uh, we'll be back. <laughs> just fuck it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so my uh, man has probably already left. You're like, yeah, it's yeah, like probably. buy our stuff. And it's a follow. It's free. Uh, episode of Ignis is, uh, apparently won't be the last one. There's gonna, they're gonna have other uh, uh, story based add ons for Final Fantasy 15, and uh, there's gonna be additional episodes and stuff all the way through 2018. So. Cool. Nice. Jesus. Um, but that's it for our topics. Is there anything else that you wanted to bring up? Yeah. Fiscate tomorrow, or? not tomorrow. Next week, we're going to have Rogue Rage Gaming on. Yeah. Cold at the end. They're mm-hmm. our longtime friends. Yeah. So we're going to have them on and we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about talk video games about and stuff. And... Things, you know, probably talk about a little bit of the history with NGTV and whatever else. Yeah. We'll probably play Pump I mean, Circumstance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, everybody knows it. Uh, Vi- vitamin, <laughs> vitamin C. By vitamin C. God damn it. We we go. Um, but so yeah, Fiskate, why don't you tell people where they can find your stuff? You're gonna hit the shit, dude. Yeah, I'm damn hit it, dude. Hit that shit. You can catch me on the YouTubes, which I have now confirmed. You can catch me at C slash Fist cake, the fist cake now, I think. I don't know. I changed it because... You didn't confirm it then. I, I forgot to actually <laughs> fully confirm it. Fuck. It's, it's fist cake. Last time it's I checked, cake. which was last yeah. week. For yeah. you. Live on stream. Well, you see, I, I went back into it, and I found out it's actually still super fist cake, technically, on the channel. Oh. So I went to change it, and it's like the fi- like seeds, whatever. It's not hard to find. I'm the only I'm the only fist cake out there. So, you know... Uh, you can catch me there, or I will be uploading videos of Doki Doki Literature Club this week. I'm, it's it's starting to get weird, and I'm probably going to be able to finish the game this Monday tomorrow live on my stream, which you can catch at twitch.tv slash fistcake. Um, I'll play that Monday evening. I think Evie wants to tag along because like immediately after last night last week's stream, I told her what was going on. She's like. What the fuck is this game? Oh, can I play with? Can I hang out and watch it? I'm like, well, I mean, can. I don't know if you want to, but uh, <laughs> good luck. So she might tag along. She might not. Cool. cool. Uh, I will be streaming Wednesday evening and Friday evening. Don't know what I'm gonna play, um, but I'll, I'll play something. We'll find out. Yeah. Se- seven to nine p.m. Uh, except for Friday, it's usually like seven to like midnight. Usually. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, Edgel Zietti's got you covered. Nice. So, yeah, it's it's always weird. I don't... That fucking YouTube thing. Anyways, <laughs> you can also catch me on Twitter at TheFizzCake. That symbol at TheFizzCake where I tweet stupid shit. Um, don't really have... A, I think the only thing I tweeted today was me playing Heat Signature. And um, there was a fun little flavor text for a gun. That's nice. that pretty cool. Some hot, some hot stuff going on there. Where, where can people find you two? YouTube at well, uh, you can find us on YouTube at youtubecom slash TV. We basically stream everything and then put all our episodes there. Um, mm. On uh, Twitch, we're at twitchtv TV. and we stream on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, sometimes even Thursday and Friday. We're basically on all the time now, um, primarily in the afternoons, except for Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday, which we do like a longer streams in the mornings. And we're playing games such as Assassin's Creed Origin. Uh, we do the Into the Veil series with Fist Cake on Tuesdays, and mm-hmm. uh, we're playing Call of Cthulhu. Uh, we finished Tales of Missouri, so we're moving on to, to FF8 on Wednesday, and we're going to be playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 along probably with... Probably on Thursday. Probably on Thursday, along with nice. uh, Smash 4 and Melee on, on Saturday and Sunday. And there may or may not be, um, I guess, another Friday stream with friends. We might play some more Don't, Don't Starve, or maybe we'll throw in a GeoGuessr stream in there somewhere. Uh, but you can follow us on Twitter at uh, Neanderthal GTV. And mm. let's get over to the official content complete specific the only information. Thing I tweeted today was, and we're going live. Twice. <laughs> we tweeted twice. It was that. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the Twitter is just there to market. Well, to let you know when we're going to be out. Okay, guys. Um, but uh, you can follow us. Uh, for content complete at concomcast on Twitter, that's where you'll get all your information about what's going on with, I, the, with the podcast. Oh, go ahead. So this is like the first time I've watched the live stream in a while. I like <laughs> what you did with the Twitter. I, I did not know that was. <laughs> I actually fixed that. Matt just it, it, it said I kind of like having that weird little janky T on there completing the concomcast. <laughs> so he kept it. That's, uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> um, concomcast. Yeah. You can uh, send us questions or suggestions or ideas to our, our email account, contentcompletecast at gmail.com. We want those. Mm-hmm. We can answer those. Uh, we'll, put, we'll set aside time at the end of the podcast just for those. Uh, you can watch the podcast at tw- twitch.tv slash concomcast. Uh, and, of course, the podcast does go live at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Sundays. We also have our Into the Veil series that will be going on, uh, on the, the Twitch channel, concomcast. Uh, t- Tuesday nights at uh, was 6 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Uh, Central. And then, of course, all episodes are available on YouTube. The audio-only version is available on your favorite podcasting app, and both are released on Wednesdays. And I should say that the episodes on YouTube will be on our Neanderthal Gaming TV channel. Uh, Fiskake, mm-hmm. do you have any last words, any last stuff going on? Um, 
Not that I can think of. Um, well, thanks for watching, hanging out, and well, we'll catch you guys next time and shit. With Rogue Rage Gaming. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. I'm taking